Deserted streets became the norm in places like the bushfire-affected New South Wales wine country. Historic buildings are still standing, but towns are reeling. Devastating. Devastating. Particularly because it was right at one of our peak times. With nearly 3,000 jobs at risk in the region, business operators are hoping for the best. People will come back. Um, it's just been really tough for the businesses over this bushfire period. And the Reserve Bank agrees, but it says the economic hit from the bushfires nationally will be cancelled out by the rebuilding effort. On this basis, our assessment is that GDP growth for Australia as a whole this year will be largely unaffected by the bushfires. The RBA is also hoping for a quick recovery once the coronavirus outbreak is controlled. Neither is expected to trigger further cuts in interest rates. I'm hoping that that does not happen because the scenario in which, in which we would be reducing interest rates is one we're not making progress towards full employment and the inflation target. The Reserve Bank acknowledges that cutting interest rates is a double-edged sword, leaving borrowers with more money and keeping the dollar down, but fueling house prices and encouraging people to take on more debt. Kylie Gemmell just wants people to act. We are safe, the fires um, have gone and everyone's welcome to come back. Rate cuts or no rate cuts? Philip Lasker, ABC News.